Oh man, today was the day. I started speaking to people. After some lovely conversations this morning, this, this is the reason for this video, but this is what I'm doing. I'm talking to people to see where they are in terms of starting the internet business, seeing if their mindsets match my mindsets. And based upon the calls this morning, the answer is no. So if you want to be part of the call session, because the goal is to get this started at the beginning of December. So I'll be taking calls this week and next week and we'll be talking about the things that you need to do to understand how to make money online. The links below for that. All right, so one of the people I talked to this morning was a banker. Very, very, very interesting conversation. Very, very interesting conversation. And this is what this banker said that the majority of stuff online in terms of how to get credit is garbage. He's like, I worked at the bank 12 years. A lot of the stuff I see, I know it doesn't work because, you know, I, it was like, man, this, this, this was really interesting. And one of the things you're seeing, and I can tell you there's one, two, three, people that I know of who are selling these online credit secrets and they're making a lot of money. They're making a lot of money. And part of this is foundational understanding of how the United States of America works. We all, and this is one of the reasons I'm doing these phone calls, we all want things to be easy and simple. We want them to be easy and simple for us. We don't want it to be easy and simple for the next guy, but, but for us, we want it to be easy and simple. And one of the things that I find to be really interesting about this whole thing of getting business credit, hold on a second. This whole thing of getting business credit and doing something. And this is one of the things that I teach you how to do and I teach you how to do it correctly. But we had a really good conversation and we were getting on points and we we're talking about things. And this is kind of what I didn't know was, let's go ahead and say, let's draw a triangle, right? And the bottom part is your basic level of understanding. And you go up the triangle, it gets to final levels of understanding, right? Well, let's just go ahead and draw a bigger box of failure of not knowing. And this is one of the things, uh, I only had three phone calls today. And I got another one a little later on, so we'll probably have four today. And this, this lack of understanding, the lack of understanding of how America works, the lack of understanding of how many of these mm, dynamics work, and the lack of understanding of how to build the American dream. Because one of the things that is, and I saw it in the comments, some people are afraid of credit and if they're bad with money and they can't keep up with their bills, maybe they have a good reason to be afraid of credit. Um, but credit can be really, really good if you know how to use it. And this is where we run into problems because right now, we, America has a huge debt problem. Car loans, credit card debt, student loans. Then we get to trillions on, on the mortgages. And one of the things that what I want people to have is a foundational understanding because this opens up a lot of doors when you fundamentally understand how this stuff works, right? And one of the things that I consistently see is a failure to not try to understand. Right, let's just go ahead and say it. 
the majority of folks out there are of average intelligence. They're not stupid. They're not dumb. But there is a lack of understanding the intelligence. There is a big lack. There is a failure to delve deeper into understand what's going on with the intellect and what's going on with the seasoning of America, so to speak. So one of the things that I am finding out is that people in credit are really interesting because let's go ahead and talk about how to get the credit off the credit card. Now, if you have a friend who has a merchant account, they can run the card and they can just give you the cash. But here's the problem with that. If they did it for like 1,000, 2,000, that's not a big deal. But if they ran your credit card and your credit card had a limit of 30,000, they took 25,000 off and they gave you the 25,000 after fees, they run into a huge problem with their accounting and their taxes because that's going to go on their accounting and taxes as a sale, right? And if you have a merchant account or a way to swipe your credit card, you can only do it so many times before it becomes a huge, huge problem. And this is why everyone that knows it, it pushes lines of credit because a line of credit is like cash. You could take the, the money off your line of credit, throw it off in your business checking account and slide your ATM card in and pull the cash out. So there's a, a big, big, big fundamental gap of understanding. There's a big fundamental gap of how making money. And this is something else we talked about on the phone calls, how to make money online. And this was kind of a huge moment for me a lot of people, because I, I thought I was speaking clearly, but apparently I wasn't, and that's on me. But when you sell something on eBay, that's making money online. When you sell something on Amazon, that's making money online. When you sell something on Craigslist, that's making money online. When you sell something on Facebook Marketplace, that's making money online. And the lack of understanding of the pure digital marketplace um, that's something I got to do a better job of explaining because that's the hardest barrier to break. It is easier to go find some stuff around your house and throw it on eBay, throw it on Amazon, throw it on Craigslist, throw it on Facebook marketplace. And you can sell that stuff pretty quickly, pretty easily without a lot of stuff. Because one of the things is it's a physical item. And the trust factor isn't, doesn't have to be as high because it's like, oh, you show up, you look at it, it's exactly what it was in the picture. You get a guy the money, you take your stuff, you go on. So selling stuff online, that, that right there, like I said, was one of the hugest, one of the biggest, one of the largest things to actually sell itself like when I was selling a lot of stuff on eBay it usually sells like I put it up in the auction you usually sell in the auction or I'll put it up as a bin buy it now it'll sell two to the two days to two weeks that's typically what most of that stuff set around for so what am I saying here? Fundamental understanding of the marketplace, how the marketplace works and all this other stuff, it, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist based upon these three phone calls. And these were not stupid people. Uh, once again, I thank everybody that called in and let me probe their minds and ask them questions. So. One of the things that we're going to see in 2021, not, not, excuse me, 2024, excuse me, 2024, 2024, um, is enhanced scrutiny on credit apps. What I mean by that, 
I, I got a credit card at the credit union. They wanted to see my pay stubs and they wanted to see my bank account. They wanted, to, they wanted two forms of income verification. This is gonna become a norm. Uh, I would say this is gonna become a norm in the next five years, like maybe with, well, credit unions have always asked for income verification. They've always asked for pay stubs. So I don't know if it's going to roll over to American Express or gonna roll over to Citibank, but I wouldn't, let's say it this way, I wouldn't be surprised if these credit scrutiny standards jump way up, way up, because it just depends upon how bad the defaults are. And we will see, we will see. But one of the things that you guys have got to position yourself for is the advent of making money during hard economic times. And this, this is something else we got into the conversations was, there are many people who believe that they can just go online and the, it's just gonna start raining money. It's just gonna start raining money. It's just like, put it online, I can do this thing, I can start making money. And if they watch the number of people on YouTube who tried to do drop shipping, uh, Amazon FBA, uh, Toro, uh, there's a, there's a lot of failures with these things, even though they're supposed to be easy and simple, right? They're not easy and simple. And this, this creates a lot of drama. This creates a lot of angst. So what's going to happen if I am correct, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but you're going to see an increased scrutiny on credit apps. This is already something that happened with the mortgage. Like if you were breathing in 2007, eight or nine, you could have got a mortgage. Literally just breathing. It's like, oh, I make this how much? Oh, yeah, that's what I make. Okay, cool. Proved. You could have got a mortgage. Um, today, that's not the case. Um, people are going through a pretty standardized, rigorous mortgage application process. You must, they check your tax returns, they check your cash, they check your credit. So, and if any one of those things is a little funky, this is gonna be a big hindrance with you getting that mortgage. So the credit scrutiny standards for getting mortgages, I think it's gonna jump over to cars and credit cards and lines of credit and HELOCs. I think that same tighter level of scrutiny is gonna go across the board and it's just gonna make it very, very challenging for a person who doesn't have all of the stuff. Cause there's, there's a lot of people who have jobs, who have income, who, you know, it's like, oh, we wanna see your income. Boom, here's my pay stuff. We wanna see your bank account. Boom, here's my bank statements. They can just boom, 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 boom. But for people who are kinda on the edge, the times are about to get very, very challenging and hard because with the number of people putting information online about how to improve your credit, there's ways to stage and stagger your credit report and make it look better than it really is. And that's just going to be part of the picture. It, you know, for a long, long time, if your credit score was this, you can get whatever you want. I'll tell you, and this is a conversation I had one of the people who called today was old, old school business credit. And I call it old school business credit because old school business credit, if you did it a certain way, you got your net 30s. There were back in the day, several EIN credit products. Home, there was one, I don't even think it exists anymore, but it was a Home Depot credit card that was given out by um, GE Financial. I don't even know if GE Financial still exists. So uh, I got that credit card started me off with 10,000. I used it to buy storage auctions and I would use it and I would pay it off and I would use it and pay it off. And before I know it, my credit limit was 100K on that credit card. And then one day I get a letter in the mail saying, hey, this credit card is canceled. 
if you have any balances, just please pay and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just sitting there like, at that point, I had just paid that credit card off. So there wasn't a balance and I couldn't use it anymore. Just simply couldn't use it anymore. But back in the day, you know, if I knew what I know now, I would have did, I would have started like 10 corporations back then. If I knew what I know now, I would have, because there, there, so, there was so many ways to, to get that money that don't exist today, it just simply doesn't exist. But one of the things that I want people to know is America is a country built on systems and processes. If you know how the system works and you know the processes or how they work, and then you can provide the information you need, you'll be 100% fine. But if you cannot provide all that information, mm, it's gonna be, be, very, be very, very challenging. It's gonna be very, very challenging for you to exist and do things in the United States of America. So, all right, so once again, I am talking to people and this is really, really important because I have folks, you know, the first three phone calls, these were folks and we, we, we got to ask each other questions. And, you know, th this isn't a sales call. I'm not gonna try to sell you anything. And they went the way that they were. Now I've got people who are trying to turn these uh, calls into consult calls for free. And uh, <laughs> if, you and I get on a call and it, it's like, oh, hey, boom, I need this, boom, I need this. The call is going to end very quickly because it's a it's an information gathering tool. I'm gathering information. I'm looking for stuff and it's helping me put out this next track of training that's going to be really, really interesting. So if you want to also, everyone that calls in and gets on the list and helps me out, they're going to get a discount. So we will be able to work on that. So there's a lot of things that are going to be going down. A lot of things are going to be happening in the future. Hopefully you'll be part of that. But it was really refreshing to talk to someone who can look at all these YouTube videos and know that they're fundamentally false because they're not telling you 100% the truth. It's just not telling you, just not telling you. All right, that's all I got. I will talk to you guys later and hopefully you can get in on the phone calls, the links below. And what I've done is open myself up from 11 to 6.30 so we can take on a lot of calls and we can get more information. So that's what I'm doing. And I guess I'll say this Wednesday, but you know, happy Thanksgiving, happy pre-Thanksgiving. And we have more stuff to get into, more things to talk about. So that's all I got. I will talk to you guys later.